This is News 3 Sports. When we hear of coaching changes, sometimes we jump to conclusions. Did they get a new job? Were they fired? Were they forced out? Sometimes social media creates that monster. But there are cases when coaches just decide it's time to move on, even after a successful campaign. And that's the case with two local coaches. Carterville's Matt Crane decided it's time to resign from his post, and Mount Vernon's Doug Creel decided it's time to retire. You know, there was no pressure to step down. There was no anything anything negative other than inside. I just didn't feel that I could give it what it needed, what it required this year. I talked it over with my wife, and then I talk, talked it over with um, – our AD coach dial and you know he was very supportive and uh, you know I, it just wasn't a wake up one day and it was done it was you know I wanted to make sure and uh, but the most important thing is the, is the girls that are coming back you know I mean I've, I, I feel I can say that I gave my all to the ones that I've had here for the last seven years and I didn't think that I could give it to them this you know to the group coming back this year uh, they need to whoever it is you know any coach, you need to be able to give them what you're asking out of them, and that's everything. You know, it's not easy, um, you know, but it, it's the truth. And, uh, you know, I, if you can't – if you're not going to give those players what you're asking out of them, in my opinion, you need to, you know, not do it. You know, I, I've decided to retire. I've been at Mount Vernon Township High School now for 35 years, and I, I don't know where those – years have gone and and uh it's uh i never never thought that i'd get to that place but uh you know i was three years over uh, i could have got out three years ago but uh, i had a son who uh, uh was a senior this year so i you know i thought it was a good time i started out many years ago just doing a little bit of everything at uh, at the school so uh, it's been a good journey and i and i just felt it was time it's time to uh, break away and make that cut. I am going to come back. Uh, you know, TRS lets you work so many days without being penalized with your retirement. I am going to do that to help with the transition. I just felt like uh, we're getting a new superintendent this year. Uh, we're going to get a new basketball coach. We're going to, we're going to get a new football coach. And, uh, you know, I made them a proposal that I would stick around and help with the transition, especially with the pandemic like we're having to do. Now the coaches are free to do things that they might not have been able to do during the season. With Abby going to play softball, you know, she's going to be, hopefully this fall they'll get to do something, but she's going to be busy in the fall and spring. And, you know, uh, we can do something as a family maybe over Christmas time. I mean, that's just options we've never had. You know, I've got two older boys. I got one in uh, Salt Lake City. And I've got another one on the East Coast that lives in New York City. Uh, don't get to see them very often. Uh, and I was coaching, you know, I made a lot of sacrifices away from them. And, and uh, you know, I got a daughter that's going to, uh, after next year, is going to graduate from uh, Bellarmine and Louisville. So I got them spread out everywhere. I don't know where Jackson's going to end up, but uh, it's just going to give me a little freedom. What do you miss the most? I love the practices. I love practicing. I love working with the kids. I, I like seeing them improve, get better. I uh, really wasn't fond of game day. And, uh, uh, you know, I'd have been better off game day if it had started at 11 a.m. instead of waiting around all day. Do you think you'll get that bug again? You can't ever rule it out. I mean, you know, I, I, I uh, taught and coached six years at Vienna from 95 to 2001 and when I left in 2001 and bought my lawn company I was said I'm never going back and you know gonna gonna uh cut grass and and done coaching and next thing I know top trip calls and then you know then it just leaked back in and then here I am I mean so you just take it as it comes you know you, you just take life as it comes and we end with some sad news Earlier today, Chester girls basketball coach Pat Knowles died at the age of 66 with his family by his side. He was coming off a record-breaking season, 26 wins. Yesterday, his team organized a parade with cars driving by his house to show love and support. Now, earlier this year, JB coach Jennifer Hitmeyer died from cancer. So thoughts and prayers go out to that Chester community. That's your sports for tonight. We'll be right back with a final look at weather.